Masters. I'll mm-hmm. be fine, I think. I can uh, give it up. Still, we need to talk to like a 3D, 3D printer person and be like, hey, <clears throat> can you print me a Yeah, of you this? know, um, <laughs> what's his name? Um, Trash. Oh, yep, yep. Um, he, 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 he found a GW button and it was just absolutely gorgeous. He showed me photos of it. And, <clears throat> you know, I think he made like a mold. Yes. And he's making like silver pendants and stuff like that. So that's something, if you could borrow it for a while and just maybe yeah. have a mold made or something and say, this is the mold of, and it's, I made it, had it made into silver or gold, you know, you, yeah. if you bring in some of your gold pieces of, I know I've got plenty of, you know, broken gold pieces that I found that I could have melted down, you know, and have a piece made, I'm sure. So I'm sure you do too. Yeah, I had that sa- the sash buckle made into a pendant forever ago. Right. And I mean, I wear that quite often. It's it's gotten a lot heavier when you don't wear, you know, necklaces for a while. I, right. I put it on. I'm like, right. geez, he put a lot of silver in this. <laughs> it was like it's yeah, and I've got too many pendants. Yeah, around my neck too. Um, cause I've had a lot of people give me different ones. Trash gave me um, a silver. Um, one that looks like a pull tab. Yes. And so now I've got that one with my coil, and then I've got a Spanish Real, and then <laughs> I've got my one when I was on, um, that somebody gifted me um, after I was on the Freddie Dodge Gold Mine Rescue Show, and so I've got, oh, we've got too many pendants. <laughs> Um, so what can you tell us about, I mean, how, how was filming? Was it fun? Did you have a good time? It was fun. Excuse me. Sorry. Allergies or something. Anyway, but filming was a blast. Um, I think that, you know, anytime you're filming and you only, again, you, I mean, for me, I, the good thing is, is we do have three people on our team, so it's not like me just trying to cover one area myself. Yeah. Yep. I found that um, really I wish we would have had more time to mm-hmm. hunt because I feel like there was definitely more stuff there. Yep. But when you've got camera people there and, you know, you're, you've got a set schedule of, of how much time you've got to to swing but you've also got these little interviews you've got to do um and you do have to take you know some sort of break lunch break or water break or something like that and um or you're going to wear your camera people out so i i i just it's like man i want to go back can i go back um <clears throat> Plus, um, <clears throat> we were in some pretty precarious places this time. I can't say too much, but I will say that in one of the areas we hunted, there wasn't much of a head clearance <laughs> for us. Mm-hmm. So we had to get two camera people down there, and they're just, it was really hard. <laughs> To film and to get us all three there and lights situated and, you know, to have enough light and all of that. So, and it got really hot and we were really hot and sweaty. Although there, you know, it wasn't that hot, I would say, because the good thing is there's no sunlight, you know, where we were. So we're not dealing with the sun beating down on us. It was just humid, no airflow whatsoever. So, you know, a little dusty and musty. Mm -hmm. So um, other than that, um, I wasn't, we weren't sweating from, you know, that. It was just no airflow whatsoever. And it was just, you know, anyway, that was tough. And then when we were outside treasure hunting, we had to climb this huge hill and getting our camera person up the hill without falling and there's just this hilarious thing that I wish 
that day we only had one camera person that was available. And so you only got it from one angle. Mm-hmm. And it's just going to be, it was so hilarious. But I, I can't even, uh, it's one of those that you're just going to have in the to see future, it. Yeah, you're going to have to see it. And then I don't even know, uh, I can't, well, I can't say anything about it, but mm-hmm. it's just one of those, it's one of those things that happens when you're out hunting sometimes, those silly things, and it's just raw, and we're, you know, not going to edit it out. It's going to stay. <laughs> it's <just> so funny. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, and, who, I, and with I, it, it's it's with you, so who knows not, what that could be? Well, I'm Brandon, saying you're it's out. A, it's actually, oh yeah, <laughs> me, me, Brandon, and Riley, yeah. and it, it was just one of those things that happened, and it was just. Oh, I, I wish I could say something yet. Not until it's out, and then we'll talk about that episode, but. Yeah, and uh, we're already planning the next episode, and we've got the film dates set yesterday, and we had a meeting with um, one of our guides, so I'm really excited about it. It's going to be, all I can say is it will be a cave. I can say that, I think. So it's going to be a fun, fun adventure, a lot of history to this cave, so um, I can't say where. Um, but I'm just, oh, it's, 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 this is going to be such a fun adventure and I'm super excited and getting to share, you know, these experiences. And, you know, I, I, just from that first episode filming, it's just like when we go out and treasure hunt, you know, you've only got so much time and sometimes you find a lot of stuff. Sometimes you don't, Mm -hmm. or sometimes you find a lot of stuff, but it may not be, you know, what you were hoping for or, but you know, it, it's still fun and the history is fun. And so hopefully, you know, it's, it's going to be entertaining enough. It's just the silly stuff that happened. And, uh, oh gosh, I can't talk about this other thing, but one thing we are planning on doing once we get the website set up is we will have the behind the scenes footage, uh, and some of those, uh, stuff that doesn't make cut, bloopers. you know, bloopers and outtakes and stuff. Cause there was one part, I won't say where, but one of our camera persons was trapped for a little while and they just kept recording until we could get this camera person out untrapped. And we didn't have to call the police or anything, but it was a little, getting a little scary, but they filmed the behind while they were trapped in there. So, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's little things like that that happen <clears throat> that are unexpected. You just never know. So um, it was a place where we treasure hunted, but I, I mean, I can't say where or what, mm-hmm. but all the details yet, but you just never know what's going to happen. That's the thing about these reality shows and reality, you know, as we all know, when we're out hunting, you just never know. And we're just trying to keep it as raw as can be. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. So. Yay. Well, we have a, a direct connection to the show. So I'm sure uh, once it starts airing, we will maybe have to designate, you know, some time to go over the episode with you. If that's uh, something that, you know. Of course. Of course. You. It'll be so fun. It'll be so fun. <laughs> Very cool. I just want to take a trip. Now we're going to take a trip up to Maine, but I don't know how that would happen yet. You know, maybe for an episode in the future. Yeah, I'm like, and you don't want to do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Well, you know, it's cooler. It's, what, 10, 15 degrees cooler there than it is here. Uh, but at the same time, um, the fields... Like, there's only a couple of the fields right now that are even detectable. Yeah. Um, like, yeah. uh, I'd say a I wouldn't want to use your permissions. We would probably need to get a fresh permission oh. or something. Well, yeah. Yeah. Because I'm like, all the, the harvests in all the fields, so all those fields are, even if you've got a new one, though they are building. 
there are, there's again, I think I brought it up a, a few episodes ago. They're doing a lot of building. So um, seeing a lot of dirt moved and keeping an Ooh. eye. So, yeah. Because that's, you know, that's doable. And you got to move fast. You got to move yeah. fast cause before you know it. Yeah. You there's know, a solar you field there. Up. Or. <laughs> Oh, right <laughs> uh, I went by one exactly. of my places and I'm like are you kidding me <laughs> I'm like well I guess that's better than like the, the cement and stuff because then there's a possibility in the future maybe <laughs> so uh, with the solar field instead of houses and buildings right right well yeah for me um, I haven't been able to get out except for you know, to f- when when detect when we were filming, and that's been it. And right now, <clears throat> I really don't know when I'll be able to get out next. It may be to until I'm filming again. I'm just not sure. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll have time this weekend. I'm hoping. Um, I will say that um, my part of the club that I'm a part of here, local club, um, they got out this past weekend when I was busy um, and one of the members found a test dummy um, from World War II um, rifle or grenade grenade so that was cool so I just living vicariously through them until I can get out again uh, you got to make sure, even if you're wicked busy, to try to make sure you set some time aside for yourself. I know for a lot of us that getting out, trying to do the treasure hunting, even going through some of your finds, um, is really is good for the good for the soul. Good for the soul. Yeah, for me, also in the process of starting a business mm-hmm. for um, our boys, so um, it's. That's what I had to work on today, and that's what I got to go work on tomorrow. So, hopefully, this weekend I'll get some time out to go metal detecting. I'm, you know, hoping. Yeah, I hope you do. And maybe I can go find a river to crawl in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Um, I do have to say, I'm having like sporadic on chat. We do have a question. Josh wants to know when will the show be released? Do you know yet? Well, that's the. That's the big question. Uh, Really, as soon as this first episode is finished editing, and unfortunately, that's usually the issue is um, um, it kind of depends on um, uh, we haven't got our opener. Yeah, it it really depends on um, now after the first episode is edited and done it usually it'll start yes. going faster after yeah. that because you but have your intro first, your outro yeah because we actually put off filming our intro for one reason i won't t- tell y'all mm-hmm. why but um we 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 decided not to do our intro yet um because we're waiting on on some stuff to happen um which i think that it's wise right now so Once the intro, which will probably be another two weeks when we'll film the intro, and then we'll have to do a lot of editing to that too. So once we get the intro done, and then by then, hopefully the first episode will be finished editing. Mm -hmm. And then, so I would say more than likely about an, at least I would say another month, I would say late, late August is probably when that first episode will be able to get it released. Um, But, I can't really say for sure yet. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I would just say right now, listen to the podcast and as, <clears throat> well, you'll as post well, too, I get right? updates, yeah, as I get updates or check out, you know, my, which I haven't made an announcement on my YouTube channel yet. Um, but I don't know if y'all saw my Facebook page today. There was a, um, in a paper in Arkansas, um, because, um, you know, one of our cast members, Brandon, that y'all listened to last week, if y'all listened to mm-hmm. the podcast, um, he's from there. Um, 
they came and interviewed us and took a photo of us and stuff. So there's a write up there so you can read a little bit more about it. And uh, it's on my Facebook.